jungle. What am I doing here? How do I get out of this place? I was in a playground. Now I'm in the middle of all this. Just out for a morning walk. Really beautiful out this morning. Walking through a neighborhood in West Hillsboro, kind of Northwest area. A lot of older homes here. Fall colors lately have just been incredible. It just takes my breath away. I love this time of year. Hillsboro is a suburb of Portland over on the west side. There's a big valley here, Tualatin Valley, and uh, the two main cities here are Beaverton and Hillsboro. But saying it's a suburb of Portland kind of makes it feel diminished somehow. And I actually really like Hillsboro. I like living here. There's lots of great parks, lots of great walking paths, lots of great shopping. Uh, it's a good place to live. It's a good place to raise a family. And it's not very far from Portland. I mean, you can drive to downtown Portland in 20 minutes, maybe 30 with traffic. You can take the train to downtown Portland, which I do a lot. And so it's, uh, it's really a pretty cool location. I've been to a lot of the towns around Portland and of all of them, I think uh, the Beaverton Hillsboro area is really one of the finest. Yeah, this was the park I was thinking of. I've seen this driving around here before. I'm gonna check this out. This is really pretty. Nice little creek area here. It's a little... Nice little playground area, some picnic tables. Oh man, look at the fall color here. I tell ya. Oh, looks like a nice little walking path here. Kind of goes in some woods. Yeah, this is really pretty. I'm totally gonna check this out. Oh my god! Where am I? In the middle of this jungle. What am I doing here? I get out of this place? I was in a playground. And now I'm in the middle of all this. Boy, I gotta traverse this swamp. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. One of the things that continues to amaze me about the whole Portland area in and around Portland is all the cities were essentially built out of forest. So you can literally be on the street side in the middle of shopping and neighborhoods and all this built up stuff. You're on that side of the street, you go over to the other side of the street and you're in the middle of a forest. So it's that quick to get from civilization to nature. I mean, look at this. This is a few minutes walk away from housing developments, and that just is true all over the place. It's one of the reasons I love living here. Okay, now I really am completely lost. I think I'm going 
the opposite direction now from what I expected and I really have no idea where this trail is going so uh whew, and I'm losing my head. Well I'm here in a clearing so uh that's a start at least I'm not in the middle of vines and other jungly things so uh, I just need to figure out which way to go next uh let's see I think I'll go that way Okay, I literally just walked this trail like 10 minutes ago. I know this tree, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going around in circles. One of these days I'm actually gonna get out of the woods here. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go over this other road and just walk along the road and get out of the woods. Anyway, uh, for this week's Essentialism Challenge, last week we talked about awareness and the power of observation. This week we're gonna dive in a little bit more. I want you to be aware of the things in your life around you, at your desk, maybe on your bookshelf, uh, by your bed maybe. Pick up an object and think to yourself, is this something that's really meaningful to me? Is this something that's adding value to my life? Maybe it's something that once did, but it's no longer. So you have this kind of guilt factor involved, like, well, somebody gave it to me, and it was really meaningful to me at the time, and I loved it, but now, I don't know, I don't know if I really need this. Give yourself permission to say, so long. Give it your blessing, say thank you for serving me at one time, and then feel free to just get rid of it. Sell it, donate it, whatever you need to do. It's not adding value to your life now. And that's one of the aspects of essentialism that's really powerful, is the ability to say, this was meaningful to me, this was important to me at one time, but it's not important to me now, so I don't need it in my life any longer. So that's this week's Essentialism Challenge. Find something around you that you don't really need now. Maybe you needed it then, but you don't need it now, and feel free to get rid of it. And you're gonna feel great doing this, and it's gonna become a habit. You'll wanna do more and more and more of this sort of thing. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.